the violent conclusion to the boys series today we're going to take a look at the boys by garth ennis hardcover omnibus volume three it has an 880 page count and the cover price of 99.99 let's get into this omnibus review Before we start flipping through these pages for mature readers, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and drop a comment. Let me know what you think about the boys series, and get yourself entered in the giveaway. On the cover here, you get Billy Butcher up close and personal in all his glory by Derek Robertson. Fitting a photo for this last volume, as a lot of this has to do with Billy Butcher. It's got his origins and all that. Looking at the dust jacket. Right hand side, a little bit about the creators, and left hand side, it has a little bit about this volume and what's collected. This volume does contain The Boys 49 through 72, plus the miniseries The Boys Butcher, Baker, Candlestick Maker. And on the back of the dust jacket, you do get a cover gallery, which is nice having all the covers listed. And just like all the other volumes, this is glued binding, so you're going to want to give it a nice stretch before you start reading this. So let's get right into Volume 3, The Boys. This is the final. We are getting a Dear Becky uh, hardcover coming out soon after this, which takes place 12 years after the events in this book here. So I'm really looking forward to that as I have not read it before. Uh, you also get the creators listed here. So you got Garth Ennis, obviously the writer. Illustrations from Russ Braun, John McCree, Keith Burns, Derek Robertson, just to name a few on this book. Love this uh, Dark Knight Returns homage cover there in the beginning of the book too. That's great. So this is broken up into a few story arcs, just like the other books before. So you're going to get proper preparation and planning. Barbary Coast, The Big Ride, Butcher Baker, Candlestick Maker, Over the Hill with the Swords of a Thousand Men, The Bloody Doors Off, and You Found Me. And just a heads up, this book is definitely full of mature content, and I'm going to be giving some spoilers throughout this since it is the final book. Out of the three volumes, this is definitely my favorite. You get some great reveals, some super awesome battles, just gore-filled and violent. And, uh, you know, you lose some characters that you grew to love throughout reading these. And uh, it's just an absolutely fantastic read. Cannot recommend it enough. Now, this picks up right after Highland Laddie that was in volume two. You get proper preparation and planning. You get the boys trying to figure out what their next actions are going to be against the Seven at this time. And the Huey is still MIA at the moment. Black Noir, he can't fly his plane, which is kind of hilarious, and he ends up killing his instructor. You get Jess Bradley is introduced to the Seven, and Stillwell turns over the responsibility to Soup Development to her. Um, you get great stuff with Homelander kind of losing his mind, talking to himself in the mirror, which you see in the newest season of uh, The Boys, where he's talking to himself, questioning why he can recall things like 9-11 and dropping the family out of the sky when he was at the Believe Festival, but he does not know about, like, the photos that were taken of him, and he doesn't understand, like, why Billy Butcher blames him for his wife's death. Now, throughout this volume, you do get some things to kind of tie up loose ends throughout this, which is good. You have a flashback moment where Mallory was still with the boys, and the boys and the Seven met to negotiate, and Vault American would suspend the progress of superpowers in the national defense temporarily, and Mallory is given the lamplighter who was involved with an event with his daughter. So this is kind of what disbanded the boys originally. So after this negotiation takes place, the boys' funding is pulled from the CIA and they are to end the superhuman surveillance at that point in time. Which of course, all of this really pisses off Billy Butcher because he can't go after the Homelander and Vault American. So in his mind, he's just thinking to himself, if you want something done right, you have to do it your fucking self. Now after proper preparation and planning, you're going to get Barbary Coast, where you find out that the old man in Scotland was actually Mallory and it was set up by Mother's Milk. Now his whole intention there is to warn Huey of Billy Butcher and his true intentions. He knows something is up with Billy Butcher and you know he's planning some evil shit. He then kind of goes into his own past and lets Huey know that he was involved in a soup operation, Autumn Mist, back in Nazi Germany during World War II, where these terrible soups came in from Vault American and just did an absolute horrible job. Uh, Soldier Boy was one of the people in the squad called the Avenging Squad that came to help out like his tank unit in uh, World War II. Um, but shortly after all of this, Mallory started a group of operatives to police the Vault American soups. So that's when the boys were born and soon after, Billy Butcher would join and he would become the guinea pig for Compound V. 
So that's definitely a great story arc where you get to learn more about the boy's history and you learn more about Mallory because he's kind of mysterious throughout the first two volumes and you don't know much about the character. So after that arc there, you get the big ride where you meet Dr. Peculiar and the AIDS monkeys, which is just a very strange as you would expect in the boys. Uh, there's a trans prostitute that was murdered and it's thought that Jack from Jupiter was the one to be uh, you know, involved with that death. So Butcher and Huey, they begin, begin investigating. Jack from Jupiter has a little argument with the Seven because he, he's not involved with the situation that happens, but he's being blamed for this death of this person. So it's just uh, some madness, some greatness with uh, Jack from Jupiter. He's not really involved in this uh, book a lot. As you see in the show, he's not even involved in the, in the uh, TV series. But uh, at this point in time, too, it's note that uh, Starlight now knows that Huey is working with the CIA and investigating these superheroes. The boys in the Seven meet to discuss the leaked footage of Jack from Jupiter which uh, Homelander believes Billy Butcher. He doesn't think that they leaked the footage, but uh, Jack definitely does not, and he ends up attacking Butcher's dog, Terror, which leads to a very, very violent death for Jack from Jupiter, man. You do not fuck with Billy Butcher's dog. After the big ride arc, you get Bombs Away, which that's when you learn more about Billy Butcher and his origin story, the past that he had in the military and how he was kind of abused by his father. His brother was as well, and his mother. Uh, his dad ended up taking out her eye and she had a glass eye and all this but he ends up leaving and joining the military he leaves his family behind after butcher returns from his service in the marines he ends up meeting this woman becky and that really changes everything for billy butcher it's like the most beautiful thing he's ever had in his life which unfortunately leads to these events right here seen on these pages where a fetus rips out of her body and starts lasering everything and he beats it to death with a lamp this event was briefly talked about in the first volume of The Boys, but uh, Vault American reaches out to him after the event takes place, and they try to give him a payout, just like they did Huey, and he's not having it. He ends up gouging the dude's eyes out, and then he ends up getting locked up. But shortly after that, he is met by Mallory, and he's recruited into The Boys, where he becomes a huge asset, because he's just a soulless, evil bastard at this point in time after he lost Becky. It was great to learn more about Billy Butcher's past and his origin of, and what events led up to what is going to eventually happen at the end of The Boys. So after the Billy Butcher origin, you get over the hill with the swords of a thousand men. There's an event at the White House with these kids with special pets and a wolverine gets out of the cage because Vic the Veep let him out as he calls him Mr. Fuzzy Buzzy. This damn wolverine attacks Dakota Bob and just rips his face off and tears him to shreds, man. Everything in Stillwell's plan is going as expected, but in actuality, man, there's so much mayhem going around behind the scenes. Billy Butcher ends up kidnapping A-Train, he gets Huey to confront him, and finally, you know, take out his, uh, his hate on this man that killed his girlfriend Robin back in the day, before he joined the boys. So you have that going on, he ends up kicking the head off of A-Train, you get Queen Maeve and Homelander going at it in this sick battle where Homelander ends up killing Maeve because of all the shit she had done. She planted the bug, she had a relationship with the legend, all kinds of madness. With everything going to hell, man, Billy Butcher ends up giving M.M. the go to release all the footage and photographs of Homelander committing all these heinous acts, which really fuck over everything. Homelander's plan, his coup with the soups, it's all gonna go to shit and everything goes down at the White House. Billy Butcher rolls up, Homelander's got Vic the Veep's head, they start fucking talking about the situation that happened with his wife, which still Homelander does not remember. He doesn't know anything about the pictures or anything like that. And that's where Black Noir steps in, and at the time, Mother's Milk is also telling Huey about the situation, and you find out that Black Noir is actually kind of like a clone of Homelander, and he was basically like a weapon created to take out Homelander just as a backup in case something were to go horribly wrong. His sole purpose was to take out the Homelander, and because that was the sole purpose and Homelander wasn't doing anything crazy, he went around and he raped Becky, uh, Billy Butcher's wife. He did the things in the photos. All of it was Black Noir. He was trying to make it possible for him to actually do what he was intended to do, and that was kill the Homelander. So in the end, the Homelander became a complete fucking psychopath by mistake. None of it was his fault, really. It was all this stuff going on with Black Noir. This is what drove him to the madness. This is why I'm saying that Homelander ain't the real villain in this story, man. It's Stillwell and Vault American. But uh, 
after this whole thing goes down, you get the Homelander is destroyed by Black Noir, and you get this crazy battle with the military and the soups that are all in the air there. They're all hit by these soup-seeking missiles and shit, which is badass. Then it moves on to the really tragic part of the story and what Billy Butcher's real plan is. He ends up taking out Mother's Milkman, then he ends up taking out the female and Frenchie, which is super sad. So you get the boys just being taken out by billy butcher because he wants to just kill all the superheroes that's his main plan but in the whole time he was kind of grooming huey to be the one to stop him and that's what ends up happening they're at the empire state building huey comes up he gets some milk from mother's milk's mom's titties and butcher tells huey that he killed his family back in scotland which obviously pushes him over the edge and then he ends up stabbing the shit out of butcher which is the end of one of my favorite characters in comics man i absolutely love billy butcher so everything is done huey's the one who stops butcher and all this crazy madness Stillwell is still operating and he continues to do the things with vault american and then you have huey and starlight that kind of live happily ever after and i'm interested to see what happens in dear becky that's coming out soon because i have not read that yet and i'm definitely looking forward to it in the back of the omnibus you get bonus features as well a bunch of scripts to the issues a bunch of sketch work just great stuff as expected that were included in all the other previous omnibus before man shout out to dynamite comics for reprinting these in the hardcover omnibus format definitely love this style i loved reading this again this is the second read through i've done of the boys and it's really just one of my all-time favorites drop a comment let me know what you think about the boys comics or the tv show and as always thank you for watching when we hit 1,000 subscribers, we are giving away Thor by Walter Simonson, Omnibus, and a Mystery Slab. All you gotta do to get yourself entered in a giveaway is be subscribed to the channel, like and comment on a video where I mentioned this giveaway. When we hit 1,000 subs, I'll use a random comment generator to announce the winner. Good luck!